So how important is the Bible to God's plan uh, on planet Earth? How important is the Bible to the person of Christ? Is it, uh, is it just kind of a secondary thing that, um, you know, c- can help some people, but is really not that essential? What's essential is the person of Christ, and, uh, or, or do we really need the Bible? Well, uh, in- increasingly, I'm s- seeing people say, oh, yeah, the Bible was good for its time. You know, the writers of the Bible, they, they were giving us their thoughts on how they best understood God at their time, but progressive revelation has come forward and given us the person of Christ. So we don't really need the Bible uh, that much. You're hearing more and more of that from certain circles with, uh, in the church. Uh, is that true? Well, first of all, we, we do, it's true. We don't worship the Bible. We worship Christ, the Bible, the scriptures. Um, they are the window through which we know Christ and see Christ, and we, we worship him. Uh, the Bible enables us to worship him, but uh, we do not worship the Bible. We worship him. And yet, without the scriptures, we really don't know who we are worshiping. Uh, we are ignorantly worshiping something out there. Uh, the scriptures lets us know who we're worshiping, why we're worshiping, and how to worship him. Uh, and this goes from, you know, Genesis to Revelation, all the way through the whole Bible. From Genesis 1, God speaks in the beginning, you know, uh, God created the heaven and the earth. And what happened? He said, let there be light. And there was like, well, why did God have to say? Couldn't God have just thought? Couldn't God have, you know, drawn a picture of light and there was light or just thought there was light? And but no, specifically, he says, let there be light. And there was light. And Throughout all of the scriptures, the Hebrew scriptures, all the way through the Greek scriptures, what many most call the Old and New Testament, uh, we see God communicating through speaking. Yes, sometimes he gives a vision, but usually the prophet or whoever receives the vision is a bit confused until an interpretation comes. Ah, uh, here is what that picture means. And uh, it's, it's spoken. And you see this in uh, all the way through to the book of Revelation. When you see the Lamb of God seated on on the throne. When John sees heaven open and sees Christ on the throne, what is it that's with him? Well, it's a scroll. You see that at the very beginning there in Revelation chapter 5. He takes the scroll and he opens the seals. Uh, He makes known, you know, the revelation of God through the scriptures. When Jesus rose from the dead, He didn't say, oh, you have me now. You don't need the Bible anymore. No, it says he sat down and and he went through all of the scriptures, starting with the law of Moses, through the prophets, through the Psalms, talking about how all of that is about him and how he's the fulfillment and his relationship with the scriptures. The church's great treasure is the scriptures, us being able to teach from them and explain the character of God through every book of the Bible, how it all points to Christ and finds its fulfillment in him. It is the window through which we know Christ and worship Christ. Uh, It is absolutely, you cannot claim to dig Jesus or be a follower of Jesus and not have the same attitude towards the scriptures that Jesus had. Jesus quoted scripture, loved scripture. Man, when he was dying, he was bleeding scripture. So it is disingenuous to say, you know what, I I really don't need that Old Testament stuff because I've got Jesus. Well, that wasn't Jesus' attitude toward the Old Testament. He pointed people to scriptures left and right. One of his favorite questions is, well, what is the, when people would come up to him and ask him a question, he'd be like, well, what does the scriptures say? If you know the scriptures, you wouldn't even need to be asking me that question then, would you? Um, uh, And so Christians continue to immerse yourself in the scriptures, not for the point of worshiping the scriptures, but to know the Christ to whom all of the scriptures point to so that we can better worship, follow, and obey him.